It's a new name. It's a new experience. We're going to be opening up new games. This is the bloody truth inside gamings, and I am going to do the Upland edition like it's our normal one. It's probably going to be the biggest one forever. But uh, right now, we need to talk about a few things because this this is becoming crazy. Join my Discord. We'll be having more discussions. It's in the description below. 50% all that stuff on your first purchase if you buy one time. Let's get past that. Here's what we need to talk about because there has been some rumors, and I mean some rumors going on. I didn't buy it at first when I first heard it. Otherwise, I would have done a video. I just thought it was just typical rumors, but apparently it's been confirmed um, somehow, some way that Upland is yet opening up another city. And my initial reaction to when I heard this, and the reason why I didn't want to believe it, I was like, there's no possible way they can be doing opening up another city. It's not possible. They've had such a debacle with LA. The only way that they're going to be able to fix the debacle is to get some of the other stuff we want to get done, done. And then they could start focusing on new cities. And they had plenty of time. Because LA is not minted out. But of course, once I thought about it a little bit, I thought, well, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe they do need to open up another city. But the problem with opening up another city is the same problem that they've always had. And the same problem that they always have is that standing return. That standing return is creating so much wealth with so many people that they don't have to put a bunch of money into the game. They can just live off the wealth. And so we have some of these big whales who I'm sure are great people. I, I really am sure that they're great people. But they could literally go into a small city like Detroit and just clean it out. They did it with the Bronx. They did it with Alameda and Berkeley. They, um, they could purchase just about everything. Hopefully the whales will want to continue to take care of L.A. and mint L.A. and not come into Detroit and start cleaning it out. But I'm pretty sure that that's what's going to happen as soon as Detroit opens. So it could be good. It could be bad. But right now we have a, have a huge problem, and it's a huge problem, where new players are not being able to play the game properly and can't get excited about the game because they're pretty much getting ran over. And as much as I'm working on my Discord to try to keep these new players engaged in the game, I get why they're not excited. They don't have the ability to purchase some cheap properties and be able to get involved. And because of that, because of that, they're quitting before they even get started. I can't even begin to tell you how many brand new people I've talked to on Discord and I've had, you know, a couple days of conversation with them and boom, they're gone. My team has had a couple days of conversation with them and boom, they're gone. And, and not just gone, but they're not even, you could tell when somebody's online in Discord, they're not even involved in Discord at all anymore. So something has got to be done about the fact that, that uh, players are not, brand new players are not going to be able to get in. The Native Americans believe that the strongest part of the totem pole is that very first piece, the small person. It's holding the whole totem pole up, and I get that. I understand that. That's why I fight so hard for the, the little guy, because without the little guy, we cannot continue. It's the little guy that holds all the rest of us up. We've all been that little guy before. We've all felt the pressure of holding all the other ones up. So we get that. If you could just go back in time and remember who you were when you were that little guy holding that foundation up, it's why I fight so hard for him all the time. But the problem that we're having with this thing is when we open up a new city, it sells out immediately. The Bronx, Elmida, Berkeley, it, it, there's not properties there for for somebody to purchase bigger people and i'm guilty of it myself go in there and buy up a small bunch of little properties because hey man it's a great deal and you know i got a good standing return as well not nearly compared to some of these guys but something has to change to be able to get the new people to continue to invest in this game or the game is going to get extremely stagnant and we're going to be stuck i don't know what to do I'm lost for words to figure this one out, but we have to do something. I, I recommended in the past to give the little guy, to give the guests a head start. Give them a couple minutes. Give the, uh, at once, once the guests go in, then all of a sudden the uplanders, they get an extra two, five, five minutes or so. And then after they, they're not going to take much up. They're not going to take much up. 
And then after the uplanders go in there, give give the um, the next level a minute, and then the next level, everybody else goes in. I would be in that final level where everybody would go in. I'm okay with this. As long as we allow the new players to have a chance to play this game and we can continue to bring new players in and continue to develop this game. L.A. was a mess. I mean, let's be honest. L.A. was an absolute mess. FSA properties. I was seeing FSA properties in L.A. for 11, 15,000 Upex. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot of people that just want to test it out. They're going to take their 4500 to start off with and just try to see what they can do with it. I get it. You have to be an uplander to really play the game, so you're going to have to invest something some way, somehow, or be able to talk somebody into doing something to get you to the next level. But they can't even trade property. So when it really comes down to it, you're going to have to invest. But why would you want to invest if you can't even get a single property? Getting one property is a big win for people. So we have to do something to allow these brand new players to experience purchasing a property. It's a big, big task. I don't know how you're going to do it, Upland. I hope you can. I think Detroit will be a great thing because maybe we will be able to, to answer some of those challenges. Maybe we can get FSA properties again for two, dollars $3,000. I don't know. I don't know what your plan is, what it's going to be, but if you are opening up Detroit, please invest in the future of these games and help the brand new people get involved in this game. My name is Blood Spirit. This is the Bloody Truth.